Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm an internal medicine attending and I'm continuing my short series on tips on how to apply for residency. Now I served on the recruitment committee at our institution for the past two years. I have read a lot of residency applications, so I have some great tips for you guys. Now I'm gonna be tossing out some possible ideas that you could write about. You do not need to and should not write about every single prompt that I throw out there. These are all just ideas. Pick one that really resonates with you. Now, how important is the personal statement anyway? A lot of people ask this. To so that question, I answer with the 10-80-10 rule. For 80% of you, the personal statement is not gonna make or break your application. It's just going to help the interviewer or the applicant reviewer get to know you a little bit but it's probably not gonna be a hugely strong factor in terms of whether or not you're ranked highly at that residency. 10% of people are amazing writers. Maybe they wrote their own novel already or they were an English major and they can write and edit say beautifully. So let's say an interviewer is on the fence about this applicant, a beautiful personal statement could potentially push you over to that good side. So if you're a really talented writer, I would say put some time into this and make it an amazing personal statement because then it could really serve as a factor that could help you. And then the bottom 10%, it's probably lower than 10%, but it could break your application if you're blatantly using terrible grammar, you're completely off topic, or you say something that is unacceptable, like something racist, something like that, then probably the personal statement could hurt you. But again, this is definitely a small minority of applicants. So what are the prompts of the personal statement? So the unspoken prompts are, what was your path to medicine? Or why are you choosing the field that you're going into? Was there a specific moment that inspired you to go into this field? Now let's get a little more specific. What qualities are the applicant reviewers really looking for? So one I know is definitely the case is resilience. So how much are you able to tolerate stress? Can you persevere through difficult times? So some topics you could talk about are, do you have a disadvantage that you've overcome? Or have you had to go through really tough times and yet still showed up and did really well in medical school? Did you start out doing poorly on something, but then you had the drive to really commit yourself to overcome your weaknesses and end up on top? Again, these are just examples of prompts that would show resilience. Another characteristic is adaptability. Did you find yourself in a situation or environment that was completely not what you expected, but you still adapted and ended up making the most of it? Did an unexpected event or obstacle throw you off your planned path so that you had to pivot? So really you're telling the reviewer that you are able to adapt to difficult circumstances or unexpected circumstances and you're flexible. Another quality is to be a team player. So if you had a huge impactful project that you worked on with a bunch of people, I would write about that. So for example, if you arranged a conference at your medical school and you had to work with like 10 other people, that's great, you can actually write about that. You can be specific about what role you played and also how teamwork shapes the ultimate outcome. And then commitment, passion for what you do. So this is a common topic, but a safe one. So did you have a patient interaction that really touched you or inspired you? Did you have a particular experience that really cemented your decision to go into that specialty? Do you have a hobby that you're particularly good at or that you're particularly obsessed with that shows your dedication to a certain craft? This one's tricky because you do have to remember that you probably should relate it back to medicine somehow. And then here are some general tips for the content of your personal statement. So be human or be three-dimensional. Don't just talk about your career achievements. What inspires you? What drives you? What makes you tick? What was your childhood like? What are some things that you do outside of medicine? Give out good vibes. So if you're gonna write about difficult times that you had, then I think that's totally great, but you do want to give a positive spin to it when you get to the end of the essay because you want your reader to walk away feeling good. And then the most obvious tip is to get feedback, but you don't wanna to get too much feedback. I would say three to four people 
is a good number because if you get feedback from like 10 different people, it's confusing. And if you try to take a little bit from each person, then maybe the essay won't even end up being yours anymore. So definitely something to think about. All right guys, so that wraps up my video on the content of personal statements. Be sure to like this video to support my channel and also subscribe so you can watch more videos on how to succeed in medical school. Bye guys.